the storm of the century that hit during lockdown. A thunderstorm with the strongest wind and rain hit the 26 millionth city of Shanghai, which has been under a hard lockdown for a month due to the new invasion of COVID. It would seem that someone during isolation can be disturbed by bad weather, but the elements still manage to provide everyone with fear. And how can it be otherwise, when a storm, more powerful than which has not been since 1961, attacks the metropolis? These frames can make you feel uncomfortable even sitting at the monitor thousands of kilometers from the epicenter of the event. The storm blows parked cars like toys. Medical tents are flying down the street like fallen leaves, where tests were done the day before. Doctors in overalls, and they are trying to quickly hide from the blows of a storm wind, whose strength exceeds 51 meters per second. The Chinese authorities have declared a red alert level as the confluence of so many adverse circumstances is too much. It would have been logical for the people of China to rally and calm down, but against the backdrop of the storm, even more devastating statements were heard from Beijing. Several Chinese media reported at once that quarantine in Shanghai could be extended for another month due to the fact that the wind spreads the virus everywhere. It is not surprising that the supporters of conspiracy theories immediately started talking about the fact that the impact of the elements could be caused by a person and we are talking about almost a climate weapon with which the authorities can easily change the weather at their discretion. One way or another, three weather warnings were issued one after the other in Shanghai during the day, caused by strong winds and heavy rain. Bad weather befell not only directly Shanghai, the difficult situation in the provinces of Hubei and Henan. One day precipitation there has already exceeded all normal values for this period of the year, becoming extreme. According to preliminary forecasts of weather forecasters and meteorologists, the intensity of showers in southern China will gradually begin to gradually decrease in the near future. But the rains may not stop completely for about a month in certain provinces, which in turn can lead to floods, landslides and the withdrawal of the local population from their usual lives. The authorities are trying to keep it under control and, if the situation worsens, they are ready to resort to evacuation and immediate elimination of the consequences of a natural disaster.